This video covers how to use DVT IDE with System Verilog source files, which contain preprocessing code written in a different language, like Python in Jinja, Perl, or any other language. In a typical flow, the source files get preprocessed and pure System Verilog code is generated. Subsequently, all tools in the toolchain, like the compiler, simulator, or linter, actually use the generated files. Notice the distinct background highlight in this file. This visual cue marks sections that will be preprocessed, helping you quickly identify and differentiate them from standard system Verilog code. Full IDE capabilities are available when editing inside a pure system Verilog section. The IDE immediately flags errors, offers quick fixes, and Content Assist. Of course, the typical navigation capabilities are also in place, for example, various hyperlinks or searching for usages. Speaking of navigation, by placing the cursor on a preprocessed section, the IDE reveals the generated code in the Inspect view. With a simple click on the file name link, you can jump to the generated file, ensuring a smooth workflow. To go from anywhere inside the file to the corresponding generated code section, right-click in the editor, navigate to Show, and select Generated File. Errors in generated sections are back annotated to the corresponding preprocessed section allowing for a seamless debugging experience. To prevent accidental overwrites by the preprocessing tool, generated files are treated as read-only by default. This safeguard ensures your changes are made in the right place. Configuring your project for preprocessing is straightforward. In the project's build configuration file, you need to specify the mapping from preprocessed to generated files. Several mapping types are available. Direct mapping, extension mapping, pattern tag mapping, path prefix mapping, and comment mapping, which instructs the tool to figure the corresponding preprocessing file from a header comment in the generated file. Finally, you can achieve a completely streamlined flow by running the preprocessing tool or script every time you save the file. You just need to define a DVT generic run configuration which calls the preprocessor. For more information about run configurations, see the linked video in the description. Use the DVT pVerilog run on save build configuration directive to specify the run configuration name in the project's build file. Now, every time we edit and save the file, the preprocessing gets executed and any changes are immediately reflected, for example, any new errors.